Well, it's Sunday afternoon. I'm at home today, and uh, as you can tell, I really haven't done much in the past few days. Um, the facial obstruction continues. Uh, Samson is here in the chair with me. Hello, Samson. Say hello. Hi, Sam. Hi. Um, hi. Um, <laughs> poor dog. Um, he's, you know, I had sabbatical, and he had just almost gotten used to me going back to school, and now I'm home again and will be for a few more days. I'm spending a lot of time here in my red chair uh, and it feels sort of like Jimmy Stewart in Rear Window um, with uh, the world going by me outside. Enforced quiet is not something that I do very well and that's sort of where I have to be right now, keeping my leg higher than my heart if at all possible and sort of lounging and doing absolutely nothing. I'm really not hungry. Um, but I'm trying to make myself eat occasionally and I have to keep some food in me so that the uh, medicine that I'm taking is not going to tear up my stomach and make me even more loopy than uh, it does. Uh, and the medicine's an amazing thing. About 45 minutes after I take it, I really start to feel lightheaded and get all sweaty. And about 30 minutes after I take it, I get sleepy for a few minutes. It's, it's a strange thing. But the real reason for this video today is that the doctor gave me a uh, sample of what they actually put in my leg. Um, he walked into my room on Friday to change my dressing and check in on things and to tell me that it was time to go home and he said, we opened one that was too long. Uh, we opened it by mistake and once it's open there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. So, um, here, this is for you. So, uh, this is what's at the top of my leg right now, and this is what's at the bottom of my leg, and they actually, uh, he told me they went into the top of the uh, tibia and uh, drilled a little hole in the top of the bone right underneath my patella, and then took an auger and augered out uh, down into the bone marrow, and basically inserted this down into the bone marrow in a canal that they had created for it. And then these holes right down here at the bottom, uh, are, are uh, they lined those up and actually went in uh, laparoscopically and inserted some screws. They did that with x-rays and that's where they actually have held the bone together uh, from where the, uh, the, the, the spiral fracture was. And then here at the top, uh, they actually eyeballed that and put some screws into these holes here. Um, just, just a, It looks like a wand from Harry Potter or a conductor's baton, and instead, this is what's down in my leg right now, um, or something very similar to it, maybe about 15 millimeters shorter, he said. Modern medicine, an amazing, amazing thing. 